a lot to everyone let's dive into the complete implementation of machine learning project so uh this uh, project is composed by three application i have here a uh, machine learning uh, pipelines and uh, also i have here a backend application and uh, i have here a front hand application so uh, you can find this code in my uh, GitHub uh, account. Here is the code for uh, this project. So we have here uh, three uh, application. We have a machine learning uh, pipelines. We have backend application, and we have a front end application. So here we have the picture of how it works and we have a description of how it works so in the front-end application we have this interface that we uh, fill with a uh, values and also we uh, choose an option and we submit so after submitted uh, the, uh, uh, the, the the request go to the uh, backhand application and backhand application uh, requests the partition from the a machine learning plan and the result is displayed here so this is how it works and here we are simulating a machine learning in action so we save all this information in the database and later we use it to uh, analyze it and also to improve uh, the machine learning so to run the project we have to run first uh, a machine learning pipeline that was uh, developed in Flask. We have to run uh, a REST uh, from Django REST framework that uh, is our backend application, and we have to run our uh, front end application that was uh, developed in Vue. So now we can look what is in a machine learning a pipeline. So uh, this application was developed in a uh, Flasky. So here we have a, a file to run the project. And here, here we have modules and here we have a machine learning code. So in this module we have API. So we have some routes and when we call these URLs, we train, test, to evaluate the model. And uh, uh, when we call this URL, we predict. To run the partition, uh, we use uh, the code that is in a machine learning uh, file. So here we have a code uh, to set the class that the, we save and load uh, the data set. We have a class to uh, save and load the, uh, the model. And uh, we here we are uh, uh, get a data. So and uh, 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 we load a data set to be uh, processed. Here the data set is processed. And uh, here we, we, and here we train the model. So we have here four models. Uh, we can increase the number of models and we'll return the list of models. Here we test the models and this we have here some uh, metrics to evaluate the model and later we uh, choose the best model so here we can customize it to uh, 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 choose the uh, model so we can choose either by uh, some parameters and either by uh, some consideration that we uh, can have after analyzing the all the outputs so uh the model is saved and here the model is put so uh what uh the backend do it's a request the partition from this uh, machine learning pipeline application so uh here we have at uh, the backend that was uh, developed in uh django rest framework here we have uh uh the ul so we include a uh, url from a uh, api here we have our api so here we have the path where we have uh, the url process request and we have the uh, class uh, that we call 
uh, when we uh, the URL is uh, the, this URL is called. So uh, here we have the class uh, that will return a predicted value, and here we have process requests. We get data from the uh, front end application. Uh, we save uh, some information as we can see we have here uh, two models the first is the person data and the second is the preference so uh, we save first the person data we use a serializer we call uh, we use a serializer person serializer we have two serializer here we have the serializer for person and also serializer for preference. So uh, uh, after this, we uh, get all the data from uh, the server, and uh, here we uh, uh, we set this data in the dictionary. So here we uh, call this uh, class to uh, perform a partition. So uh, this value is returned here, and the uh, we save uh, the data in the database and also we return this value as a response. So uh, in uh, the front end application, uh, we have here the home view and we have uh, this uh, form result where we have uh, some uh, uh, field to uh, fill uh, the full name and also to fill some uh, attributes of uh, iris data set so in this uh, machine learning we use a iris data set so we have this all fields here so we can see it in action so uh, here we have uh, let me uh, refresh the page so we can choose value from a 0, 0.0 to 9 uh, point nine. So let's choose our uh, so uh, now we fill all the fields and also we choose this option. So uh, we can uh, submit. So here we have the option and here we have the predicted value. So we store this data in the database and later we use to analyze and improve the machine learning. The purpose of this project was to demonstrate how a machine learning project can be implemented. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and like.